looking too old but are too young? Is age discrimination in the workplace really a thing? And how about your own confidence? Maybe you have a similar question or the same as Anne-Marie who submitted What is your advice for women who are late 50s, early 60s? How can we enhance our awesome first impression? That's why in this video I will share with Anne-Marie and you how we can enhance our first impression as we get more established in our careers. My name is Sylvie Dishosto. I'm a professional keynote speaker and author, helping professionals around the world to lead better, sell faster and persuade instantly by making an impactful first and lasting impression. If you are new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified in case you are watching this video on YouTube. If you stumbled over it anywhere else, well, I hope you will still stick around and connect with me in some way. Also make sure to stay until the end as I will share how you can submit a question and you will also get a free resource that provides 130 tips to make a powerful first impression, no matter your age. But for now, back to Anne-Marie's question. In the next three minutes, I'm going to give you three tips to ensure you are making an outstanding first impression regardless of your age. Tip number one. Do not try to look younger. Oftentimes, as we age, we try to look younger, sometimes by wearing flashier clothing, following along with every new fashion trend, or even altering our bodies with plastic surgery. These send signals to those around us that we are insecure about ourselves in our current stage of life. We often turn to these fads in order to hide our anxieties, but unfortunately, they only enhance them. For example, if you are 50 years old and dressing like your 18-year-old daughter, you are not representing yourself well. You will likely come off as insecure and as if you are trying too hard. This effort to latch onto this more youthful persona can be seen by others as immature and ultimately leads to them assuming you are, for example, unexperienced or unprofessional. Don't get me wrong, you also shouldn't wear clothes from decades ago. More about this later, by the way, or in terms of your body alterations, plastic surgery is not always negative. For those who make small adjustments in order to increase their own confidence, for example, this can be a very helpful tool. However, it should be used to attain balance and should not necessarily be dramatic. It is important to find a balance between what makes you feel assured and looking appropriate for your stage of life. You do not need to do any procedures or engage in any fads in order to make yourself look younger. Simply embrace your age. Once you own your age and can be proud of how you have been able to establish yourself throughout your career, your natural poise will shine through to those around you. This is what is memorable, not your age. Tip number two, consider what your clothing is saying about you. As mentioned before, I know it is absolutely common to hold on to old clothing that may be of high quality or that we are emotionally somehow attached to. However, this can also be another signal to those around you that you are not investing in yourself on a regular basis. If you are continuously holding on to and wearing these clothes, you may be dating yourself. The same goes for wearing clothes that do not fit you well or are too bulky. Because often when we are uncomfortable with our new body or are not investing enough time into ourselves, we choose to cover up with baggy and cumbersome clothing. However, in covering up, we are not hiding our age. Instead, often our flaws and insecurities are amplified. By simply wearing professional, well-fitting clothes, you will not stand out for the wrong reasons. You will be seen as professional in your field, rather than being seen for what you are wearing. Last but not least, tip number three, don't try to hide your age or insecurities with too much makeup. A mistake I see very often. Makeup can add to your appearance if you use it properly. However, if you are using your makeup to cover up your signs of age, it will only magnify it. Use of too much concealer, foundation or powder can accentuate wrinkles and highlight the age spots we are so desperately trying to cover. Your appearance should grow and evolve as you do, allowing you to move confidently through all stages of your life. 
I recommend keeping your look as neutral and natural as possible to highlight your strong features while adding a polished and professional air to your presence. And finally, make it a point to take care of yourself, even if you have spent much of your time taking care of your children, family and others. It is important to also pay attention to your own self-development and how you are showing up for yourself. Invest in your health and into your appearance. Maybe this looks like investing in skincare products, uh, treating yourself to a massage or getting your hair done. Or maybe this means buying some new updated pieces for your professional wardrobe in order to show those around you that by taking care of yourself first, you can also take care of others. Not only are these going to feel good and rejuvenate you, but they will also send a subtle message of, I know who I am and I am proud of what I have achieved. Regardless of your age, this will be evident during a first impression and show those around you that you have embraced who you are and your age. It is very common as we age to feel more self-conscious in the workplace. However, it is important to remember that we are putting more thought into our age than anybody else around us. By focusing on the things you can control and maintaining a strong physical presence as you age, your mindset will shift to age is just a number. This will help you to adopt a leader mentality and feel confident walking into any meeting. So let me know how you feel about your current age after watching this video. I'd be super interested to hear from you and see if you are ready to embrace your current age. To get deeper into these tips, I will leave a link to a free ebook for you that shares 130 simple ways to improve your appearance, behavior, communication and digital footprint to make an impactful first impression. If you download it, you will also be added to my email list and have the chance to submit your own question. Or simply leave a comment here. If you enjoyed this video, please also give it a thumbs up and share it with someone this information might be helpful too. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video somewhere around the internet or on my email list. Together we will ensure you feel like your best self every day, no matter your age.